Hi folks, we're going to take a look at page uh, 140, number 11 from the uh, unit assignment. So let's take a look at the question here. So we're making a box, and we notice that the dimensions seem to all be given with respect to length. So width is 5 centimeters less than the length, and then the height is 1 centimeter more than double the length. Okay, uh, so everything can be given with respect to length, and they want us to find uh, possible dimensions um, for a volume of 550. Okay, and an equation for the volume. Okay, so let's start by writing out our equation. Okay, so let's let uh, V be the volume. Okay, which of course we know is length times width times height. Okay, and since everything is given with respect to length, I'll let X be the length. Okay, so that's X times the width which is 5 less than the length, so x minus 5, and then the height, which is 1 more than twice the length, so 2x plus 1. Okay, so here's our equation, <clears throat> and what we want to do is determine uh, when the volume is equal to 550. <clears throat> Excuse me. Now here, while the right-hand side is factored out, uh, we don't have zero on the other side of the equation, so this is of little use to us. So what we're going to have to do is bring that 550 to the other side of the equation, but unfortunately we're going to have to expand this out and then see if we can uh, re-factor uh, afterwards. So here, let's multiply this out. So you've got, I'm going to multiply these two first, and then multiply by x. So x times 2x, 2x squared, but then I'm multiplying by another x, so 2x cubed. Okay. Then here I've got 1x minus 10x, so minus 9x times another x, so minus 9x squared. Okay, and then negative 5 times 1, negative 5 times x, so minus 5x. And then, of course, I'm bringing this 550 to the right-hand side, minus 550. Okay, and here there's no easy factoring that we can do, so we would go ahead and use the factor theorem. So as many of you have already realized, it turns out uh, this uh, was not a well-written question and uh, it's not easily factorable. So at this point here, the best we can do is graph it and try to interpret the answer from a graph, okay? So I've got the graph here. Just give it a second, there you go. So here's the graph of the function, okay? And I notice that it's only equal to zero at the one particular point. And if we check there, we see that it's about 8.55, okay? So 8.55 makes this expression equal to zero which is exactly what we're trying to find. So here we have that x is approximately 8.55. That's the only answer. Not only is it the only positive answer, it's the only answer altogether. Okay, but now if we want the dimensions for the box, we use this and we use our expressions for each dimension. So we know the length was just equal to x, so that's 8.55 centimeters. Okay, the width is five less, so 3.55 centimeters. And then the height is, uh, so uh, whatever, 2 times, so 16, 17.1 plus 1 should be 18.1 centimeters. Okay, so here we have the equation for the volume, and here we have the answer to part 2, which is dimensions uh, for a volume of 550. Okay, that's it for this one.